Hi everyone, Penelope here. Today I'm going to share with you a few of my favorite asanas and they are compass pose and ekapada surasana, also known as leg behind your head. So from here we're going to have to have our body a bit warmed up. May I suggest that you do some, you know, shoulder opening, um, stretching, whether it be puppy pose or do some forward folding. Some asanas or some stretching that will help open up your hip joints here naturally and have your shoulder space a bit warmed up. So from there, we're gonna start our base on our compass pose. Now from here, I'm gonna have one leg bent and have my foot as close to my body as possible. Now from there, I'm gonna have my sit bones rooted down to the mat, engage your core, lift up through your spine. And now from there, I'm gonna lift my leg up. And now my leg is now externally rotated to the side. Now from here, I'm gonna do a little bit of flossing, a little bit of warming up, making sure my leg is great and warmed up here. Now, this is a great indication to whether or not that you're even ready for this pose or not, is if your body, your foot can reach and meet your body. There we go. So from here, we're gonna hike our leg back behind our shoulder to get into compass pose. Now from there, I'm gonna take my hand and I like to grab here, or you can grab here, wherever your body feels naturally comfortable. Now from here, I'm gonna hike my leg behind the shoulder. Clear your shoulder space there. Once it's clear, take your hand and place it down. Lift, elongate out now through the body. Engage your core. Now a great way to know whether your core is engaged is if you let go. Now make sure your sit bones are still rooted down to your mat because sometimes when you do compass pose you'll find that your leg will lift up like this. But let's go ahead and Keep it down on the mat. Have your shoulders push back your leg. Look up and lift up. Now from there, this is a great way to enter into Ekapada Sarasana. Now from there, we're gonna have to make sure that we clear our head space. Now from there, I'm gonna take my leg. Now, wiggle it around my neck, back around my shoulder into Ekapada Surasana. Now, for me to get my arm around this foot here is I'm gonna take my hand, place it right here in my thigh and lower it just a little bit so my arm doesn't have to work so hard. So from there, I'm gonna take my opposite hand, right like that underneath this arm, and I'm gonna give my leg just a little bit of a push there uh, it helps allow my body, my arm, to naturally wrap around that leg. There we go, Ekapada Sarasana. Now, to release out of it, I'm going to now push my neck forward, relax, and release out of it. Let's try the other side. Again, let's have our foundation. Right like that, leg close in. I'm gonna rock my body a bit. Create on my leg. Now, I'm gonna hinge it back. I'm gonna hike it back behind my shoulder here. Take my hand, my opposite hand, grab it, lift up, hand down to your mat here. Remember, your sit bones are rooted down to the ground. And I'm gonna look up, push my shoulder back and up. Now, from here, Great way to enter into your, your uh, Ekapada Sarasana, right here like this. Do this one. Now I'm taking my shoulders, kind of clearing my shoulder space a bit so that my leg will just naturally rest right there. Now I'm gonna take it a step further. I'm gonna take my hand, hold my foot, take my hand and lower my foot a little bit more behind my, my neck space. From there, my opposite hand, grab my foot, push it down a little bit. Now I'm going to take this arm and wrap it around just like that. Now to release out of it, I'm going to take my hands, bend my neck and allow it to go through. Now, as you all know, I am a contortionist, so this is one of my favorite things to do is Ekapada Sarasana, just like that. And to get into this other leg, I'm gonna have this hand now place in front 
and lift it up and then hook it behind. I could buy the stir song. <sighs> Thank you so much for watching this video and supporting me and I love all your comments so much. So please like and subscribe to my channel. Namaste.